Eve is going to be my seventh mastery. If you want to see videos of all my masteries, make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos. I actually enjoy playing Eve, so I found it really fun and a pretty quick mastery as well. Her new mythic gear where she spawns an extra hatchling makes her so annoying to deal with. If you're using her second star power where you get an extra hatchling for hitting your largest egg, you can easily have more than five babies running around. Actually, you can have another baby on top of that by using your gadget. The hatchlings are so good because it stops the enemy team from healing up, it recharges your super, and it makes it harder for certain brawlers to hit their shots and it wastes their ammo. And if you pair her with other brawlers with spawnables, it just makes it so toxic for the enemy team. They will probably throw their phone out the window. <laughs> The thing you have to be careful about with Eve is that her reload speed is extremely slow. You have to make sure you save your shots and use them wisely if that makes sense. You can't just spam her attacks all the time. But the good thing about Eve is that she has her gotta go gadget where she's able to jump away. You can also make risky plays without worrying about dying and you can use it to outplay the enemy team a lot of the time. It doesn't really matter what star power you use. If you're having trouble hitting her shots, then I'd probably say use the reverse one where the biggest egg shoots out first. But if you got that down and you want to be more annoying, then the second star power is really good and really annoying. I end up using both for this mastery push. If you guys remember in my Colette mastery video, I got so bored. So I started doing best friend applications and Composure put in a best friend application. Well, we're best friends now, and he also helped me a bit with my Eve mastery. Also, later in this video, I'm gonna go over exactly how I get mastery so fast. That's you like not poetry. Poetry is <laughs> great, but that is not I poetry. I love poetry so much. No, I feel like poetry is in the eye of the beholder. Wait, that's not the line. It's in the eye of something. I don't know what eye it's in, but it's in the eye of something. I poetry is guess. so beautiful. All right, right, tell us the poem right now. Okay, okay. Actually, you have to do. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I didn't say I'm a poet. I just, you know, love. The yeah, so you probably stuff. have like your favorite poetry. Um, do you know a guy? No. Okay, I think I think I'm wrong. I love spoken word. That's what I love. Spoken word. Are you a fan of spoken word? Some people make fun of spoken word. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but I love it. I love it. I got deleted it again. You're having a rough time. Do you want to talk about it? I don't want to talk about it. I'll okay. save that for my $200 therapy. Bet, bet, bet. I want to do therapy, but like, but I feel like I'm going to end up like trying to, you know, be a therapist to the therapist. Oh, you like, think you're smarter than the therapist? No, not smart, but I'm such a therapist friend to everyone else. So I feel like I'm going to find a way to be that to her and it's like, or him, or like, they, them, or like, whatever she goes by. They're a lot up. smarter than you think. They will know when that's happening. Um, you right. You right. I, I think this game was my fault. Then I was able to get gold to Eve pretty quickly. Hey, I get um, gold to an Eve. I really, really like her profile icon. I think it's so cute. It's her little baby. It's so cute. I like it a lot. I might just use it. So a lot of people ask me, how do you get these masteries so fast? And the answer is pretty simple. Just play Brawl Stars 24-7. No, I'm kidding. Not really. But what I've found is to play 3v3s and play with a team. I know a lot of people like to play solo showdown, but that's just not a very quick way to get mastery points. For me, that's a good thing because, I mean, look at my solo wins. I mainly just play to have fun with my friends or to make content for you guys, so solos isn't that fun to me at all. Figure out what brawlers work on the specific map that you want to play. If there's a broken brawler, play the broken brawler or at least get one of your teammates too, because it'll just guarantee you more wins. And you don't have to keep playing the same brawler if it's just not working that day or you're not having fun. Sometimes there's a map out that really works for the brawler you're playing and where your brawler is extremely strong. So just play on that map as much as you can and take advantage of it. I try to work on multiple masteries at the same time, which means it does take a little bit longer, but at least I'm not getting burnt out playing the same brawler over and over again. If none of the maps seem to be working for the brawler you want to master, or you're just not playing the best that day, just wait until there is a map and a mode that works. 
I also see some people purposely tilt their brawlers once they're at high trophies to get easier games and faster matchmaking, but I haven't done that yet. I'm usually playing with my friends who are also just casual players, and I always tell them I don't really care if we tilt. I'm just playing for mastery points and to have some fun. Sometimes we're even just watching YouTube videos or movies together while we play. It's better if you're playing at high trophies and getting star player most of the time because you get extra points. A lot of the times I'm getting 95 points per win at high trophies, plus bonus like 25 extra points for star player. So a lot of the times I get like a total of 110 or more points per win. And if you're going on a win streak, let's say you win 10 games, well that's over 1000 points already, which makes it really, really fast. I swear this is how everyone feels after doing mastery. Okay, so this is one of my last games to Mastering Eve. <sighs> this is a little bit above a thousand trophies gameplay. I'm playing with my friend Safari and this random primo. We just queued up without a third, hoping for the best. We are against a crow, a bee, and a spike, which is kind of perfect. All of them are really gonna struggle with the little hatchlings because neither of them do pierce damage. So they can't really kill the hatchlings quickly, which means once the hatchlings poison them, it'll charge up my super and I can keep cycling my super. B and Spike do have their gadgets, which can body block for them, but they're gonna go through them so quick. And then they're just gonna have to deal with my infectious babies. One thing I really prioritize with Eve is protecting my super when I first put it down. Sometimes I'll even body block or use my gadget to protect it because once it hatches, it's so powerful and you do so much work to get your super and you don't want it to go to waste. It's even nicer when your teammates try to protect it. Once the hatchlings are born, or I don't really know what to call it, once they pop out of their little nest, you can start moving forward, especially with brawlers that don't have fierce damage. It's really helpful to gain back some positioning on the map. You can just see throughout this full game, I keep cycling my super, which is exactly what you want to do. I really thought the primo could score here and do the whole primo throw the ball and super thing. That's why I took the risk to pass the ball up. I don't know what happened. I'm just going to say his finger slipped or something. I don't know. It happens. A lot of the time, I'm just staying back and keeping as much range as possible. Like I mentioned earlier, Eve has really slow reload speed, so you can't just walk up to someone and spam your shots to get guaranteed damage unless you know you're going to kill them. I am also using the second star power here. It's a little bit more difficult to hit your shots compared to the first star power because the hitbox is a lot smaller, so you definitely need more accuracy. I was so ready to super the ball here and score, but Spike does so much damage close up. Safari did get his super and was able to score, getting us the win. Okay, I got this. I got this. No, never mind. I died. I died. Can Safari get- Oh, he got this. He got this. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. My seventh mastery. Oh, I had so much fun doing this one. All right, let's collect the title, the mother title. Very fitting. Let's look at all of my mastery so far. Wow, there's a scroll bar now. <laughs> I have seven of them. I'm actually working on my next one right now as well. It's something very, very different from my usual play style and I've been having so much fun. So if you wanna see more masteries more videos on all my masteries because i am planning on getting all of them subscribe and i'll see you in the next video for the next mastery